Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining. I am bringing you guys Decades Legacy. This is going to be episode number seven. And as you can see, we are just going to go ahead and go in and be with the Humphreys family. And welcome to the Humphreys farm. So I am first off just going to make sure that everybody's needs are, are good and tended to. Um, but we are currently in late 1898 and tomorrow the both of the girls Victoria as well as Elizabeth have a birthday so in this episode I am going to be having William go to Hemford uh, Hemford on Bagley like to the market area and we're gonna see if we can find a cake and the reasoning for that is because with their just starting out um, their farm is just now starting to grow um, and with the trait of the simple lot traits they're not going to be able to most likely make a cake um, and we will need to have a birthday cake in order for victoria to go ahead and age up into a child so that is something that william is going to need to do today um, amongst all of his normal chores he will have to go to town um, I won't be taking the whole family just because it, it would be a lot of work for everybody to go and so Florence will stay home with the girls but William will go and get himself a um, a cake hopefully we can find a cake somewhere so that we can have a birthday party with the girls so it looks like William is already up he is getting it looks like a little bit of a late start so I'm just gonna go ahead and have him have himself a bath looks like Florence is currently still asleep but little Elizabeth here does need to go ahead and be tended to so I'm just gonna have her get up give her a little feed and go ahead and, and take care of her and as you can see Victoria is also quite hungry so I will have William get some food for her as well so we're just going to do applesauce um, it wouldn't be a stretch to think that they have applesauce because we do have apple trees because um, we want everyone to be happy and it looks like Florence first is at like when as soon as she's done with the baby she is going to have to do some laundry because uh, every like there's laundry in the floor here because the hamper is full she's clearly not been um, tending to the wash because she was helping with the farm like the chickens and and all that stuff so i am hoping that um william's gonna have a little bit of a better time today it does look like the forecast is sunny so he shouldn't get struck by lightning Fingers crossed, but oh, they're just so precious. Absolutely adore this family. I think that they are so adorable, and I can't wait for Elizabeth to go ahead and be a toddler so we can see what she looks like. Bobby. <laughs> All right, so Victoria's just come down. She's going to go ahead and grab her applesauce that her dad set out for her. And he's just going to go ahead and tend to all of the animals here. So he's going to clean and feed and then we'll milk Daffodil. And then Belle will need the same treatment. All right, good job. So she's just gathering up all of the wash and we're going to go ahead and wash this laundry. And then we'll hang it on the line. <laughs> and clearly she's finding that funny. She's like, oh, this laundry never ends, William. He's like, that's the life of a farm, honey. Like, okay, sweet pea, um, daddy's gotta go back out here and, and work. You just eat. 
Please stop doing that, Victoria. Why are you sad? Because ah. oh, you're hungry. We'll eat it. Don't play with it. Perfect. All right, now Florence, I think that's good. I want you to go ahead and hang the clothes on the line, please. I'm not completely thrilled about the fact that she tracks water through the house, but maybe I'll bring the wash basin outside. And go ahead and unload and put that laundry away, dear. And then she can go out and take care of the chickens so she can collect the eggs and clean the coops. Because as we know, she loves the animals, so that would be nice for her to take care of that. And that will help William to get some of these done as well. And obviously as time goes by, you know, and the kids, more and more kids, and they age up, we'll have lots of help for the farm. But as of right now, it's just them trying to make sure everything's getting taken care of, you know, just the two of them. It's a lot of work, but as you can see, He's very much enjoying life on the farm. More so than I think anyone really thought. And then we'll let you out. Yes, I know. We're actually going to give you a bath once Mum's done with that, okay? <coughs> Daffodil's like, thank goodness. <coughs> She's a happy girl. Oh, well, we need to also pay the bills. Okay, I don't need you to go and get her. He is anyway, isn't he? Yep. Will you please just go tend to the cows? Thank you. I don't think we really need anything going on in the garden because he just got everything kind of planted yesterday. So everything should be good. Well, it does look he has some carrots he can harvest. Go ahead. Florence, both of your girls need you. He's gone back in, hasn't he? Yep. Okay. He's such a good dad. Come change her diaper. And then come and give her a bath. What are you doing? Put her down. Put her down. Thank you. No, stop picking her up and go and deal with the cow. Thank you. And I'm pretty sure she did everything with this. Did she get this clean? No. So we'll just queue up the rest of the chores outdoors for William and she can go ahead and take care of the girls and then he's going to head off to town. She's like, hi sweet girl. You need a bath? Tori's like, unless you like this green cloud on you, mom. <laughs> You're so adorable. How's it coming out here? 
Like a little girl. So he's making a very good collection. We've got ourselves uh, some wool. We have 12 canisters of milk. So, 12 bottles of milk. I apologize. So overall, it's going quite well. Okay, so she's just going to grab herself a bite to eat. She's feeling a bit peckish. We have eggs for the... Whoa, what just happened to my eggs? I wonder if they went somewhere other than the fridge. No? Hatchable egg, yes. Okay, so when she's done eating, we will incubate that in the coop. How's it going, William? Okay, so you're gonna need to grab yourself a bite to eat and get yourself um, go to the washroom and then we should be able to well maybe not he's got so much that he has to do I actually might make you do this go ahead and get out here and collect everything William has enough going on because he still has to go to town so you can just come out here and collect everything she's like I'm gonna get stung yep what you are. Like he absolutely just loves his farm. Whistle while you work. Makes the time go faster. She's like, I have got to go to the bathroom. I know, I know. Well, you can go ahead and go to the washroom and then we'll let you grab something to eat. And what are you up to? No, I know you want to go do whatever it is you're trying to do, but I need you to come harvest these roses. Please and thank you. And you also need to come finish eating. And the honey quality is still poor, but I'm hoping with time it, and them bonding with the bees it'll get better. I'm pretty sure that's what they have to do is bond with the bees and then it gets better, but. All right, so she's just gonna go take care of little Elizabeth and then I think I'm gonna have her take herself a nap. And what have we got going on here? No, I don't think you need to come down. I think you need to actually go ahead and take yourself a nap as well, please. And now that you're done eating, you can clean that up and then we're gonna go to town. So we're just gonna go ahead and hop over to town and we're gonna see if we can buy the girls a cake. Well, he's just cleaning up all the dishes in the house, isn't he? What a good man. So she's going to bed and it's time for you, sir, to go to town. We have made it here to town. We're not going to be stopping and getting any drinks or anything, but I just want to look around and see, well, everything. I've not been here yet. Um, so it looks like we have us a stand here. So let's go and take a look at what they have there. And what else? 
You can buy grocery items. Is this where we window shop? No, is this where we window shop? Window shop. So there, we'll get, we'll just go and do a bit of a shop. So he does have a little bit of money that he could go ahead and get some things if he needs. So we'll just see what everybody has offered, you know, what they're offering and we'll see what, what we need. And he's shattered, like he really needs to rest, but. All right, so we have animal party treats, apples, which we already have, um, basil, begonias, bell peppers, blueberries. I don't know if we have any blueberries. I'm gonna grab one of those. We have cherries, I wanna grab one of those. And a choco berry. Okay. Pretty sure he has grapes. I'm pretty sure we have all of this. Uh, we don't have pineapples, but I don't think we need pineapples. I will get a raspberry. Can get a soybean, tomato. Okay, so I'm gonna get 126 simoleons worth of garden items and he'll be able to plant some stuff in the garden. Thank you so much for your hospitality. We're just gonna go over here and see what grocery items there are that we might need. All right, so we have milk, which we don't need, cheese, which we can make. Um, we have eggs. All right, so we'll grab some flour. And we'll grab a pear, potato, pomegranate, We'll get a sugar. All right, so I'll also get some meats. And I think that'll do us. All right, so now we're just gonna go and take a look at the window shopping and see if we can make a cake. And if not, we may have enough items now at home um, and with what he just purchased to make a cake. So we'll just have to see. But I could have sworn that you could purchase a cake. I may have been mistaken with that. So anything? Hmm, I was right. Window shop? Window shop. I'm not exactly sure where you have to go. What is this? Maybe that's where you have to get the cake. No, I think that's. No, I think that's the crumpled autumns. I'm not. I'm not sure. This is a dress place. It looks like. Oh no. Do I need to head home? I'm so tired. Farming is hard work. It looks like he's talking with her, but he's not. He's actually window shopping, which I think he's actually already window shopped here. I'm really confused what he's doing. Okay. I think that once you're done with that, you should go ahead and go home. That's where I think I need you to window shop. Can you purchase anything from this place? No? Hmm. That would be really, really cool if you could like purchase bakery items from the bakery one and clothing items from the clothing one, but I guess you can just kind of look in the window and nothing actually really happens. So that's unfortunate. That would have been a cool feature. Overall though, this town is lovely. Like, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. 
Are you back at this building again? <laughs> I need you to go home. You like looked at these dresses 15 times. He's like, I think that dress doesn't look, I don't understand. Wrong time period, man. Wrong time period. All right, so he's just going to go ahead and head home. We're going to unpack all of the things that he purchased. And I'm going to let him go ahead and go to bed. And in the morning, he can plant the garden items. And we will get uh, Florence to bake a cake because, as you can see, we weren't able to purchase a cake. So... All right, so he has made it home. We are just going to go ahead and let him go to bed. And what's up with you? So she's headed to the washroom. Oh my goodness. Victoria is in really rough shape. So once she's done with the washroom, I'm going to have her come up here and change Victoria's diaper. If it will let me. No? Okay, well, let's just clean her up. And what else does she need? She needs to eat. So we will grab her something. We'll give her some food. And I can't remember what else is wrong with her. She just needs some fun. And Elizabeth is crying. So we will also have to come and love and deal with that. So we will feed her and we'll rock her. All right, and let's just go ahead and unpack the stuff that William got that can go in the fridge, if anything. Most of this, I think, is... for our garden, but he did have some things that we can use. All right, so that's great. The rest of that stuff is for the garden. She never did go to the washroom, I guess. <clears throat> Lisa. Okay, so she's just taking her down. He's like, I'm trying to sleep, baby. Sorry, William. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here's like, here, let me change your diaper. Let me shush you. Okay, so she did that. Go ahead and feed her, please. And then you can go to the washroom. And William, go ahead and go back to bed. And then when you're done with the washroom, we are going to see about cooking a cake. So you can clean out the spoiled food and then we will see cook. And let's see if there are any cake options that Florence can make. So she could do a white cake. So a white cake it is. So she's going to just make a cake for the girls because their birthday is tomorrow. It is extremely late, so, um, actually let's not do that. Let's let her out and then we can do that. I just don't want her to be locked up in the high chair for too long. She can go ahead and take herself upstairs to go to bed. Or play or whatever it is that she wants to do. So we'll just have her play with Yarny. That's fine. Really? You were all the way there. You could have gone ahead and used the washroom and then come back and grabbed her. Okay, we'll put her down. She'll go upstairs and play. All right. So we'll just go with Victoria here while we give her a minute of privacy so she can go to the washroom. And she's just going to teeter up these stairs. She's not gotten quite the hang of, of it just yet, but she's trying. <laughs> so 
said, okay, I'm going to my room. I'm going to play with my toys. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, sit down. Bring out Yarny. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, she's so precious. Absolutely love her to death. All right, so how are we doing? You've already done that. Just go ahead and bake the cake now, please. All right, so let's watch her bake this cake. Oh, it's exactly the same animation, I suppose. Okay. How are you doing? Doing well? I'm pretty sure you're not potty trained yet. Yeah, no. But you know what? We can get you some potty help once mom's done with the cake, and then you can head to bed. All right, so we have our cake in the oven, and then we'll just throw some candles on that, and it will be ready for the girls. It's not the best shape, maybe. All right, it's not bad. All right, let's put it... Can we put it, can we move it there? Can you put birthday candles on that? Oh. Thank you so much. All right, and now I just need you to come up here and we're going to potty train Victoria. Please and thank you. Why are you not listening to what I said? Stop. Go up. Go upstairs and potty train. Potty train Victoria, please. Go on, go up there. Florence. Oh no. She's very sad because she's thinking about her nan. Oh my goodness, my whole heart. Okay, so she's just gonna go up and give her a bit of a potty train and I think Once that is done. I'm just gonna have her go ahead and do another load. Oh, there's nothing to do. Okay, great So she can just go ahead actually and Change the sturdy diaper. That's totally what I meant we'll Just go sleep You know what he's so good at, at taking care of her Go to bed. All right. Well, it is very, very early. Are you sure you're done resting? Why don't you go get a little bit more rest? Just because you are going to have your hands full. So you can go rest a little bit more and then get up and Get yourself ready for the day because we have some planting to do. And what are you working on? So you're just going to get a bit of sleep. Are there no leftovers? No. Serve breakfast. Scrambled eggs with bacon. All right, she's just heading off to bed. So everyone is in bed. They're just gonna get themselves a little bit more sleep. And then once William is up, we will catch up with you and watch that whole system play out. He's just gonna do a bit of farm work. I'm gonna have Florence give him a little bit of help and then we will have ourselves a birthday party and we'll be aging our girls up. Okay, so William is just outside doing a bit of farm work. So he has, um, had his breakfast and now he's just collecting the honey he's doing some planting we have a notification that our eggs are ready to hatch so he will be doing that as well and 
obviously tending to our llama and our cows. And then after that, I think we will probably be aging their, the girls up. Alright, so you can just, yep, good morning. It's like, come on, come eat. Alright, we're gonna just hatch these eggs. Oh, actually, I think he might be collecting eggs. Yep. <laughs> Cutest thing ever. Hatchable egg and a not hatchable egg. So we will actually incubate that one as well. We are getting lots and lots of chickens. Floney. Alright, so everyone's hungry this morning. Let's go ahead and feed. And feed. And feed. And she is just doing a little bit of laundry. Alright, sweet girl. I know it. Your mommy's coming. And Victoria is just snug as a bug upstairs sleeping still, so that's very good. So everyone is just getting taken care of here. Once he's fed everyone, we'll go ahead and get him to have, um, well, he'll go to the washroom and then we will come over here and finish up in the garden. He does need to spray for bugs and he needs to water and he needs to weed. And it does look like he has some things here that he can actually evolve. So we will get him to do that as well. So it's morning, Belle. Who's a good girl? Okay, let's go ahead and get your milk. <laughs> She's like, yo, what's up? What are you doing that for? He's like, calm down, girl. I've got this. That's a good girl. Thank you. Thank you so much. She's a happy girl. All right. She's just having herself her bath. Where are you off to now? It's like, I gotta go to the washroom. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We will evolve. And we're just gonna go ahead and harvest everything. That can be harvested. I think that was everything that needed to be evolved as well. It looks like it. All right, and then also we just want to plant everything. And what's she doing? She's gonna harvest that. I actually am gonna have her, as much as she doesn't like to do this, I am gonna have her come out and help because I feel like it will make things go a little bit quicker because we need to be able to throw the girls a party so she can just come out and help William for a little bit it'll be a nice bonding experience she's like what did I tell you about me toiling the soil he's like I understand but I went to the market I got the things that you needed for the girls for their cake and there were some things that we didn't have already on the farm and I just thought, you know, it would be a perfect time for me to go ahead and get them and get them planted because, you know, it is fall, winter is going to be coming, we need to make sure we have everything we need so that we can survive the winter. Alright, so actually she's decided she likes gardening. So 
she is definitely going through some changes. Like I think that she's finally realized this is her life and she's actually enjoying it. So I'm really excited to hear that because I was actually worried that she was going to be like too prissy, too prim for, for being able to get out in the dirt. But it looks like she is um, really embracing her life and the fact that she's married into a farming family and she's going to pick up Anna's legacy and obviously, you know, support her husband and his passion. And it's, it's becoming her passion as well. So I couldn't be more thrilled about that. I do still think she enjoys passing the time with her painting and her cross stitching and things of that nature. But um, if we have both of them out here doing gardening stuff because they both like it, then I think that obviously this th farm is going to thrive and be more successful faster. And who can complain about that? Because let's face it, in the future here, not too distant future, um, you know, they're going to go through a depression and things like that. So, you know, the more money we have, the better off they're really going to be. So, he's just watering everything and weeding everything. So I'm just going to let them go ahead and do this and then we will be having a birthday party. All right, where did she head off to? She's taking things to the trash. Okay, but can you just help him water the stuff that just recently got planted? And maybe help him weed as well? There's a lot to be done, if you don't mind. There's nothing that needs to go on with that. Okay, you can clean the coop then if you can't figure out anything else to do. You can clean both of the coops, actually. So they're just finishing up their daily chores. Oh, he found a frog. That's thrilling. And I am just going to get Victoria here to go ahead and grab herself a serving of food. And we're just going to go ahead and get Elizabeth changed here. And then we are going to have ourselves a birthday party as soon as they are done with their gardening and, you know, all the fun things that he's doing here. So, so we have lots of stuff in our inventory that we can put in the fridge, which is great. I will actually go ahead and do that now. And she's just over here grabbing herself some eggs and bacon that her mom made for breakfast we have a ton of milk because we have the two cows so that's fantastic and the butter frog which i don't need so i'm just going to sell that and she doesn't have anything else, so once she's done with that, we'll have her go ahead and um, go to the washroom. Go ahead and clean the sheds. Can you do that really quick? Everyone's so filthy. Can you clean them? Can you clean? Can you clean them all? Working the farm is a lot. It's a lot. Never mind, she hasn't even done laundry for the day. Holy mother. It's like, I'm gonna just might as well empty the trash while I'm at it. It's time for us to get these girls ready for their birthday and obviously we don't know anybody in the town and her uh, nan has passed so really it is just going to be William and Florence that are going to be celebrating the girls birthdays um, I would 
probably assume that there weren't, you know, birthday parties. Like you can't, even the rules state in the challenge that you can't, um, like have gatherings and things like that other than weddings. So yeah, it'll just be the family, but it's a cake. She's aging up. She's becoming a little child and our lovely Elizabeth is going to be a toddler and that's fantastic because I cannot wait to see what she looks like and I think that Victoria is going to be the cutest little girl ever. She's already the cutest little toddler ever so I mean look at that face. She's adorable. All right so she's just waiting on her mom. Where are you at? There you are. She's like I'm so tired. Oh, this farm life, you know? And poor William. Look at him. Like, he is so dirty. He's like, I want to be there, I do, but I actually need to go have a bath. All right, so here we go. Blow up the candles. Yay! All right, little one. All right, so her... Um, highest skill was in creativity, so we will um, give her the creative and also for girls their first trait um, does have to be creative. So it will be. So she's going to be creative and she's going to have the first trait of creative because that's the rule for the challenge. So I will go ahead and set that and this is what she looked like currently. Obviously she's going to need a bit of a makeover, but that is our Victoria. And before you go to bed, Florence, I realize that you want to go to bed, but I am going to need you to go ahead and age up little Elizabeth as well. So go ahead and go in there and do that. And then you can go to bed and I will give the girls their makeover. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, she's blonde. Oh my goodness. Okay, so one, two, three. She is a fussy baby. That's thrilling news. Not really, but okay. So we will go have a peek in Cass and see how our, oh my gosh. So precious. I'm actually shocked that she has the blonde hair being that, you know, there's red in the family, but that's okay. We have one that took after the Humphrey side and one that took after the Clark side. So I am going to hop into Cass and give them their wonderful little makeovers. Okay, so this is our Victoria her before. I give her the makeover and we'll just hop over and let you see what Elizabeth looks like. And this is Elizabeth. Can't quite tell. I think Elizabeth probably does look a little more like Florence. Um, whereas I do think Victoria definitely took after the Humphreys. But I'm going to go ahead and give them their makeover and then I will be back. Okay, so here we have our little Victoria as a child. And I think she turned out really, really adorable. So we'll just quickly go through her outfits and then I will show you Elizabeth. So this is her everyday wear. And her formal. Athletic. And her sleep. Her party wear. Again, they won't be really attending parties or such, but... And then this is her swimwear. Her hot weather. And her cold weather. And then we have little Elizabeth. And she is precious. Okay, be still. There you go. So that is our little Elizabeth. She is too cute. And then her everyday wear is the same as her sister's was, just in a different color. And this is her formal, 
her sleepwear. I don't have a whole lot of sleepwear um, for little kids, so that would be like time appropriate. I guess I could give her this one. At least she's a little more covered up, so let's do that. All right, and then we have her party, her swimwear, her hot weather outfit, and her cold weather outfit. So there we have it. Our two girls aged up. So let's hop back into the game. We're now back here in the house. And I am just going to need to give a little bit of a redecoration to the house here. Um, but I will probably do that off camera. And that way everyone will have their room and be able to have a place to, to live, basically. So I will probably give um, the this room here to Victoria and just leave the toddler room here. And obviously Elizabeth will just go in there. So I will do that, like I said, off camera. But that is it for this episode. We had um, a lot of things happening on the farm, which was good. We got a lot of progress as far as our crops go. We got new stuff planted. All of our animals seem to be doing good. We got us a new chick. Um, both of our girls have aged up. And so, yeah, I think overall this episode was pretty productive. And already um, Victoria is working on her skills because she's down here playing with Elizabeth. <laughs> They're really adorable. And it looks like they had themselves a bit of a woohoo in the shed, and so she's got a little bit of <laughs> negative emotion going on there because she got stuck in the bum with hay. But, um, yeah, so at, at this point, we're just going to be working on um, continuing the farm, making sure our girls are good, and hopefully we will have us another baby on the way soon so that we can... Fingers crossed, have ourselves a boy so we can have an heir for the family. Um, but other than that, that is going to also wrap up 1898. And when we come back, it will be 1899. And we will be getting closer to the 1900s and getting to bring electricity into the home, have ourselves an indoor toilet and get rid of the outhouse. So there will be a lot of changes. Uh, wallpaper will be allowed, but we will go over the rules for the 1900s once that gets here, but we are getting very close to that threshold of crossing over into a new decade with our family. And so hopefully in the next episode, we will find out if we're gonna be expecting anytime soon because they did, like I said, go and um, have themselves a woohoo. So hopefully, hopefully she's expecting because we need, um, we need a boy. I really wish you wouldn't eat that cake. I really wish you would actually just put it away in the fridge. Put candles on it so that we don't have to go make another one. So I'll just hop that in there. All right, perfect. All right, so yeah, that's all said. I am just going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever a new video has been uploaded on my channel. Let me know what you think of the girls makeover and if um, we do find out that we're pregnant let me know what you want as far as baby names go i do still need names for our animals we have some chicks and roosters out here that don't have names so if you want to give me some animal names that would be greatly appreciated and just overall let me know what you think and if there is anything in particular you'd kind of like to see go on in our series i do like the feedback and the suggestions and I do read all of the comments and will respond. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.